It's okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, last month at Vision Summit, Labs introduced one of our first big VR projects, Editor VR, which lets you stay in edit mode even when you have a headset on. So today I'm going to do another demonstration, and I'm also going to show off a little bit of what we've been working on over the last month. So here's hoping hardware works like it did last time. All right. See here, I'm just actually in Unity, and we just have a new window, Editor VR. So now make it a little bit bigger so you guys can actually see what's going on. Okay. See you guys after this. <laughs> okay. All right, so if you saw the video about uh, Editor VR from last month, we had the scene set up a little bit. But this time we started to go out with the blank scene. You see here at the edge of my controller, I have a bunch of assets, different game objects. So let's start off by adding in the ground. There you go. And it's a little bit dark over here, so I've got a directional light that I'm going to add in. Let's put it up there. You can see that we have the gizmo in VR, so I can actually just rotate like so. And now we've got some light added to our scene. Now I'm going to fill it out. We're going to make like a little mountain village. So I'm going to add some mountains, pick them up, move them over. But I hear that I only have a couple of minutes on stage, and you guys have been here for a long time now. So I'm going to show off something that we made to make it even faster for you guys to work in VR and quickly out your scene. This is called the chessboard. And this is actually just a smaller version of the scene that you're already in. So you can actually just pick up game objects like this. You just float, put the mountain down, and there you go. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit more over here. I know, this is super fun, by the way. <laughs> Hopefully we get this out to you quickly so you can try it. But you can see you can actually just rotate. And there's a mountain, I can put it over here, like so. Okay. Yes, it's like playing with like the best dollhouse in the world. This is awesome. <laughs> and let me zoom in a little bit more here. Now I'm gonna add in some more game objects. I've got a building, house, another house, another house. Got some trees, let's just stick it all in here. We got a barrel. How about this fireplace thingy? Got a tree stump, okay, all right. So I've got this stuff, and I'm gonna zoom in like so. I can actually just pick up the objects and move them around. I'm gonna pick up this house over here, like this. And actually, I'm gonna lock the ground because it turns out you end up hitting the ground a lot. All right, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna move this house over here, pick up this other like in thing, put it over here. Pick up this other little house, set it maybe here, this here. Got to turn around this big kind of creepy church thing. As you can see, just got the scene set up. It looks like this tree is running into this house. So I can actually just pick it up right here and move it over. But honestly, whether or not you're making a VR game, this is actually just a really quick and efficient way to just lay out a scene really, really fast. Add a couple more objects here, pick up this little sign, and put them over there. Ta-da! You got your scene. <laughs> All right, I got a couple more things. So the lighting, I'm not loving the lighting. I'm going to pick up the lighting, move it over here, but then I can actually just pick up myself. This is a little mini-me, and put myself by the light, and I can actually just rotate the light and see what the shadows are doing. Yeah, okay, that looks a little bit better. Well, let's make it a little bit darker. Yeah, there we go. That's dramatic. All right, let's go, go back down. Oh, a little bit too low now. Here we go. Okay, I think, you know, I think this is looking pretty good, but we might want to add just like, like a couple more things, maybe like a dragon. All right, so <laughs> I've got my dragon here. I'm going to scale him like way up. Yeah, that looks good. Turn them around like so. Maybe put them, put them like over here. And again, this is the kind of thing, like if I was working in 2D, I might be like, yeah, a dragon looks good here, a dragon looks good here. But we can actually just see it. When you're actually just looking at it. It's so much more efficient. Honestly, it's a lot of fun too. Okay, so now we have our dragon. Put a little bit more over here. And now I'm going to add in, we have a knight. 
a knight to fight the dragon. So I'm going to move her over, move her back a little bit and up. Maybe just pick her up and move her myself. There you go. Okay, all right, let's see. Let's see how that looks with the animations. Cool. All right, maybe move myself up by there. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, guys, so that's what we're working on right now. Um, no release date yet, but hopefully we're gonna work on getting this out to you as soon as possible. So thanks very much.